Dragons cost money. How are you going to feed this dragon? Your best friend? He's going to go around and terrorize everyone. Oh, the ticket everyone. sales of the people who are watching the flying uh, dragon also, breathe fire no. in their area. <laughs> 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 Greetings gamers and welcome to another laser to- blah, 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 blah. Greetings gamers and welcome to another Lasercorn channel video. Today we are playing Trial by Trolley Online. Which is a thing you could do because we're in quarantine land. And with us we have Davis of the Warp Zone. Hello! Jesse Cox of Jesse Cox and the Scary Game Squad. Hello! Jovenshire of, uh, of Jovenshire's Magic Happy Land. Hello! And Katie Wilson is here with us as well. Hey, I'm from nowhere. What? From your own YouTube channel. You're from the <laughs> severed head of a celestial, aka nowhere? <laughs> <laughs> and exactly. Joke. With this mustache, I don't like you calling it that I'm from uh, Joven's Happy Land. It does. It just doesn't seem appropriate. Well, that's what you have. <laughs> that's what you have written on the van that you drive around in, right? <laughs> Correct. Oh, underneath okay. the wizard. Yeah. yeah, underneath the wizard, right above the free candy sign. Yeah, I would totally get in that van. It's a good yeah, van. It's a good van. In case you haven't seen the last video where we played this game, it's pretty simple. Uh, everyone will break up into two teams, and uh, you each have a track. Top track, bottom track. And your goal is to put people on your track that you don't want the trolley conductor to kill, and uh, put people on your opponent's track that you do want the trolley conductor to kill. So uh, whoever's the judge, which uh, will be designated by this little red piece here, will be the trolley conductor, and they will have the ultimate uh, burden of deciding which track lives and which track dies. So you or want your- pleasure. What? Or pleasure. Or pleasure. Or yeah. pleasure. Who knows? So, uh, yeah, I think we'll start it out, and we'll start with uh, Katie and Jovenshire on the same team yeah. against yeah. Davis and Jesse, and I will be the conductor. Uh, uh, Davis and Jesse, uh, let me be the first to welcome you to the losing team. Uh, population, you guys, congratulations. Uh, the HOA fees are very low there, so I think you'll be quite happy. Yeah, well, then aren't we the winners? Uh, sounds great to me. <laughs> uh, Katie and Davis, why don't you go ahead and draw the good guy cards for your team? Jovenshire. And Jesse, why don't you draw the bad guy cards? Oh, I got some bad guy cards. I will put down the opening rando cards. It looks like on the top track, AKA uh, Katie and Jovenshire's track, we've got a promising young scientist. I, while on the bottom track, Davis and Jesse's chat, track, we have a doctor performing life-saving surgery <laughs> on a previous <laughs> trolley victim. Wow. <laughs> Let's go to uh, Katie to see what other innocent person this we will have on the top track. This is very difficult. Not gonna lie, I didn't draw the best cards I could have drawn. Since you're the judge for this round, I kind of have to like try to, to get into your brain and, Good luck. and see and what- And don't it, stay there for too long. Yeah, it's scary yeah. in there. So I, I gotta go with this one, I guess. A heroic gorilla crossing the tracks <laughs> to save a child. Well. I mean, obviously, oh. if if we kill that gorilla, that child's going to get snagged in a bear trap. We don't want that to yeah, happen. Yeah, but but <laughs> there is a, a whole natural selection thing. This kid's going to just <laughs> all right, jump all right. into a bear trap. It's not the it's not even hidden. It's not the arguing phase yet. Uh, oh, Davis, sorry. why don't you go ahead and drop your? Uh, <laughs> he was ready. Also, why don't you suck on that one? Ooh, Whoa. a rare and beautiful flower that contains the cure to cancer and AIDS. <laughs> Oh wow, that's a double whammy. It's a quadruple wham whammy because it's also beautiful and rare and cancer and AIDS, so it's mm, a lot of things. Wow. Jovenshire, it looks like it's up to you uh, to drop a bad guy on that bottom track that will make yeah. me want to kill both a doctor performing life-saving surgery and the cure for cancer and AIDS. You know, I, I think it was uh, Jesse that I already heard say that they hate this guy. That, that was Davis. Sufferable. I was Davis. Welcome. 19 year old overlords. Bitcoin billionaire. I do want to kill him. You, were, you weren't the judge. You're right. But um, it's going to be hard for you to argue for him. I so. still want to kill him, especially considering all the money I lost in Bitcoin. He got in before <laughs> me, and now Didn't I'm angry. Did you get angry. into Bitcoin after it hit like the millionaire? Shut up. We're not talking about this. We're, okay. All right. We're moving on to, <laughs> to Jesse Cox. You know who, what they say in the stock market buy high, sell at the bottom. <laughs> who will now place on the, uh, the top track. Okay, I, I look, my apologies in advance, but also this is the type of game I'm playing. I play to win. An angry <gasps> kid who will one day wow. shoot up a school. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, oh God, man. you only have one choice here though. 
I'm so I'm sorry. Gonna, I'm gonna be I'm honest. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna be honest. There was already one choice, but yeah, this also just like locks it in. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is horrible. Do we get modifiers? Uh, yes. So good guys. Uh, whoever placed the good card, go ahead and uh, draw three modifiers, and then place one modifier anywhere. So you could place it on your track or your opponent's track, whichever you think would be more helpful. <laughs> Oh no! You have to trolley. You have to take them out. You have to. Otherwise, yeah. who knows how many schools they could shoot up? Oh gosh! Oh, man. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Go ahead and place your modifier. Uh, I, I'm sorry. Can like, never I, remember yeah, your name, even though you've wait, met like twenty that's times. That's not even a modifier. That's just this. That's just what that that's kid true, is. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, That's this what is, would happen. wait, can I put mine over yours? This is really what I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> Already told all my loved ones goodbye. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, you cannot replace a modifier. Oh. All right, uh, we'll give you guys, say, uh, 30 seconds on the clock in my head to argue your cases, starting I'm with so the sorry. top track. Katie and uh, uh, Jovenshire, go ahead and argue your case. If I may, it was the great uh, Enlightenment philosopher Immanuel Kant that said that we controlled our own fate as long as we had freedom. So by allowing this young child to live, his fate is not sealed to the text box below him. He in fact has a giant uh, amount of, of possibilities he can actually go through in his life and perhaps being spared in this chance could alter his reality forever, allowing to, him to live a, a better and just life, but according Joven, to Emmanuel Kant. He's immortal. He has no fate other than to just live. I fell asleep when you started quoting Kant. Okay, Team B. <laughs> team B, your arguments. Look, it's you're gonna you're gonna cure cancer and AIDS and this 19 year old is gonna die of like a coke habit anyways pretty soon. So this, <laughs> it takes care of itself. Hmm, that's, that's a good point, yeah. I do want to kill him, but he is going to die. All right guys, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to render a decision here. I mean, curing cancer and AIDS, that's- Population control. We are dealing with way too many people Oh in the God, are place. you saying AIDS oh is population gosh. control? Whoa. I no, don't support my teammates' I, ideology. I absolutely <laughs> want to put our school shooter I absolutely, on the that seals it. I absolutely have to kill track A. I'm sorry, <laughs> promising young scientist. I'm sorry, gorilla and, uh, and school shooter. It, does yeah. that make it feel better? Uh, is holding your family hostage. Does that make it a little easier for you to- Yeah, yeah, down. now I feel even better about it. That promising young scientist is a jerk. <laughs> uh, Katie Wilson, I have to apologize uh, for my presence on your team. Um, <laughs> may you uh, have better faith okay. without me. Okay, so you each get four death tokens. One, no. two, yes. three, four, because you've killed four people oh with your- gosh. Poor choices and poor arguments. We just had really bad cards. I have uh -huh, to uh -huh. the cards. That's what they all say. Mm -hmm. That's what they all say. Uh, so everything goes in the discard pile. <laughs> Recall and shuffle. Now, uh, Conductor moves to Katie. Now the Ooh. new teams are Joven Shire and Davis against uh, Jesse and Lasercorn. Oh, Lasercorn knows I'm here to win, so it's, oh, it's cool. Oh, Davis. <laughs> You're I'm a doomed. tough sell, you guys. And I put a random. Uh, yes, if you want to drop a random on each track. I'm a princess! It looks like Jovenshire and Davis, because they are to the right of the uh, trolley conductor, will be uh, will be on the top track. Meanwhile, me and Jesse will be on the bottom track. Is top track ready to play their card, Jovenshire? I believe I am. Okay, go for um, it. So do, something, this, do something good. Th these tracks <clears throat> have been featured in an episode of uh, Twilight Zone because they, they adhere to not to time nor reality. And what? here we have this card where I, I'm calling the show uh, Mr. Rogers. They're, they're filming uh, the show Mr. Rogers here on the trolley mm. tracks. Mr. Fred Rogers is actually explaining the, uh, the, the system of trolleys to children. He was okay with the dinosaur suit? That's awesome. Well, you know, it was one of his uh, neighbor friends that you didn't see too often. Oh, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like picking yeah. a card that have that many people on it is just a bad call in general. We're gonna say maximum of four people per card, so because some of okay. them are like <laughs> the entire population of the world. Yeah, oh, you would so think we that- we hit that max last round. You would think that hitting the max would be something you'd, you'd want to avoid, but a funeral procession. Oh, geez. They're already They're sad. They're mourning. Yeah. They're already <laughs> sad. 
Well, they seem to be lost. Yeah, what They're are they all... doing on the train track? <laughs> well, then again, what is the children well, the, show? The yeah. princess is waiting for her kiss, so yeah. they're heading towards her. Oh, okay. Princess waiting yeah. for her true love's first kiss. I am the bad guy for our team, so <laughs> how, what am I going to do? Let's do, uh, let's do this. Uh, if you want that top track to live, you're going to have to deal with a swarm of killer bees flying straight towards you. And one of, them has, one of them has a chainsaw. My they're God. They're like murder hornets. They'll just disappear after two headlines and we'll right. never worry about them. Well, I mean, these ones have a chainsaw, so they're not going to disappear. They're coming right at you. Yeah. You won't even get a headline. Yeah. You'll just be dead. <laughs> Whoever's got the you bad guy cards. The... Boom. Solve a lot of society's the problems. The 1%. Ooh. That's a rough one. All right. They also hire you, though. That That's true. They're job creators. They keep, they what if, yeah, they're job what creators. What if instead of hiring you, you had the ability to make your own job? That someone who is. has their own job, it sucks. What if you... <laughs> What if you we just all have our own jobs. Because you could without the 1%. Well, you'd be dead because the swarm of bees would have killed you. Yes. So good luck <laughs> finding a job. <laughs> hang on, hang on. <laughs> we're, not, we're, not, we're not in the argument phase yet. We still have good guys. If you placed a good guy card, go ahead and draw three modifiers. Well, you know, let me tell you. The, this 1%, uh, they're also have like the secret society of uh, necrophiliaism. Oh, Jesus. And they are very Ooh. outspoken about their rights. Ooh. No wow. wonder they're behind the funeral procession. <laughs> 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 yeah. They're like, mm, oh as, soon as, as soon as they leave that body alone. <laughs> Ew. Okay, hold on. By the way, the princess is part of the 1%, and she's now we know why she's also waiting on the tracks for a kiss. Wow, wow this from, tells a story. Oh, from the bottom dead track, person. Bottom track tells a real story here. Yeah. Bottom track's pretty gross. Okay. Well, <laughs> not, not many people mean, know this, but... Davis um, and Jovan are kind of selling me, so you guys got to step it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you probably don't want this host around kids, especially when they went to trial for a 12-person killing spree but acquitted on a technicality. Whoa. Ooh. Are you saying bad things about Mr. Fred Rogers? You heard me. You heard what I said. I, mean, I knew but, he but, was too nice. Uh, they're letting that person around kids. Around kids! The three-legged dog was trying to warn you, because what do you think happened to its first leg? <laughs> that guy cut it off! I'm not got sure a nice how that's job related, now. But, oh. I will say that that top track, uh, Katie, just has to die. You don't want to die. You are a good person. You deserve to live. You do not deserve to be killed you would die. by a swarm of killer bees with chainsaws. Is that how you want to go? Being both- If you don't take that top track, you personally will die. And you die uh, in a pretty uh, horrific that's not way. First true. of all- Not only do you die, you die while being stung and chainsawed at the same time. That is not a way you no, want to go out. No, The bees are right uh, a 1% hoax uh, to get attention <laughs> off of the necrophiliaism uh, rights that have been brought up in uh, in several cases. Uh, the bees don't exist. It's just something you can the 1% see them. wants you to Let's, believe. You can see look, them with look. your own eyes. Take look, your tinfoil hat. Photoshop. Katie, Katie, the choice is simple. If you go with the bottom, the bottom track, you just like help society out immeasurably. Yes, you lose a funeral procession, but if I have to play devil's advocate here, they're already sad and and <laughs> they just want to be with their family. Anyways, Give them that door. So it's door. like whatever. We can't. First of all, killer bees. Killer is a misnomer. It's like killer whales. They don't go around murdering everybody. That one has and a chainsaw. All, the one behind it. Take care. <laughs> Did to break down branches so that the flowers from those beautiful also, branches can be. Also, the bee population is <laughs> no, at risk. No, no. They're, like, these motherfuckers are not out pollinating. All right? They, Why does he need yeah. an AK to pollinate, huh? Why does he need a f axe to pollinate are flowers? So uh, these are not why, the good bees. Wait a second. Look How is people. a trolley going to kill a bunch of flying bees? What, because they they're right on the tracks. The no, no, they're right, right on the then. tracks, and they're dumb. Katie, uh, the, Katie, the velocity bees? of the train pushing forward will actually create a wind barrier Look, that will push the light bees out of the way. I'm not saying that all bees Science. are bad. There's a lot of good ones out there pollinating. But the, the, these ones that are on the track, they have not sent their best, okay? Katie, do you like do you like Earth? Do you like all the right, planet we right, live right, on? All right, because all right. the bees help spread plants. The 1%? They help destroy the Katie, let me just say one thing. Just to, you know, before you make your choice, just one last thing. Yes. If you choose the top track, you are letting everyone on the internet know that you support the weird conspiracy people on Twitter. Mm. Just letting you know. Mm. You're telling okay. everyone right I've, now I have that heard. you are down with them 
and to send you all of their information about the flat earth. Don't you don't you have celebrity a conspiracy, conspiracy I, podcast? I have heard your plights, gentlemen. Uh, and I have made a decision. While you're right, picking that top one might uh, might be agreeing with Twitter conspiracy, but I feel like Send some Katie of the hashtag w- QAnon. Some of, <laughs> some of the one percent already uh, are very outspoken about rights for people who are bad, and I feel like just adding necrophilia to that is just extra worse. And also, no one wanted to sell me with the happy three-legged dog, which is pretty much all you <laughs> needed to say. So I'm going with the bottom track is getting wiped out. Woo! Points, baby! Mm, you just saved the just, planet, Katie. Mm. And a cute dog. I love how you guys were so hung mm. up on everything else. Enjoy, I'm just sitting here staring at the cute dog. Enjoy like. enjoy being killed by, by killer bees with a chainsaw. All of you these people it. have the option to move themselves off of the track. That dog doesn't know what's up. He's just happy and he's just like... Dee, 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 dee. And he's got, so you saved the legs. dog. And never mind the fact that after the, the 1% is destroyed, uh, a new 1% shall rise up in its place. Yeah, but I didn't think this would get so political. You've solved I'm nothing. so disappointed. You've solved nothing. Okay. So disappointed. Uh, so me and Jesse each get nine tokens. Wow, that's rough. How's well, that possible? Four max. Yeah, yeah there you was... said four max. Oh, oh four right, right, four, But the killer bees don't count. You're right, five. We each get five. Wait, the killer bees don't count? No people. Whoa, wait a second. But <laughs> the dog doesn't count. Uh, the dog's not there's perfect. literally a chainsaw sound uh, coming from outside of my window right now. I think the bees have Those found are the me. bees. You're done. You made a terrible choice. Oh, no. Uh, Jovenshire, you are the new conductor. Ah, uh, all aboard the Joven train. Woohoo! Uh-oh. This is going to get crazy. And you'll never know what direction I go. And uh, I'm also blind. I might not even see anyone on the tracks. <laughs> Uh, I'll just be like, huh, speed bumps. That was weird. <laughs> so now it is, uh, it is, it is Davis and Jesse again. Is that right? Against me and Katie? Sure. Okay. Okay. So the randos are on the top track, a brilliant young lawyer fighting to make the world a better place. And on the bottom track, the next Picasso. Uh, he's only young because the world hasn't beaten him down. He hasn't seen. Well, you're, is you're no young no matter what. World. It's just a measure of time. Davis and Jesse, you guys are on the top. Me and Katie will be on the bottom. <laughs> Stranding. <laughs> oh wow, that's super sad. So how would you get on the tracks? Yeah, there's no water around. Man, <laughs> the next Picasso also has uh, a friendly dragon that will let you ride it. Yay! Mm. And breathe fire. You got a fire-breathing dragon, friend. And it's friendly. Interesting. Friendly in general. Yeah, yeah, he's friendly. He's like Puff the Magic Dragon. He wants you to just get high and hang out. We are going with the mermaid. It is uh, as it's depicted in the in the card. It is fish from the waist down, right? Not vice versa. <laughs> Correct. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why can't just, it? Just couldn't it sure. be the good kind of mermaid with the fish part on top? <laughs> is that the good kind? I don't. Uh, it's like it's a line from Futurama. But yeah. Isn't she just gonna suffocate anyway? Human lungs or fish gills? How no, no. Breathe? She's like the little mermaid. Where mermaids, the little mermaid mermaids often hang out and sunbathe above water. Yeah. They, they she's, got, got, she's got a mouth and lungs. Uh, who's the bad? guys this is this is this gonna be you know sure next picasso sure friendly dragon but if you go down the bottom track you can get rid of your true nemesis your landlord Ooh. what if you like your landlord that's like a young Uh, uh, you have been tricked and fooled by your landlord (laughs) there is no good landlord okay guys you know i feel like as a as a good person, and and many of you are good people, you would you would see this card and be like, yes, this is the winning card. But this is Joven we're talking about, so I'm wow. unsure. There's a lot of talk. Just play. Some yeah, yeah. Let's just see it. She she might have just saved herself. Oh wow! A butcher making <laughs> meat pies out of dogs, cats, and babies. Didn't say what kind of baby. Whoa. Did not say what you kind know of baby. It's that could human be real. babies. That's so oh. economical of him to recycle <gasps> used material. That's so. Oh my gosh, that's renewable. He's tricking that's the people. That's great. Yeah, those people no, don't not. know. No, and everyone knows. Say, no. It doesn't say a trick. It, they they clearly know. Their... Look at them. They're very happy. Yeah, that guy with the. <laughs> no, you also get to get rid of all these people who like to eat babies. Look, that one guy's got his hands on his tummy. He's like, I'm so hungry for babies. That's they what really he's thinking. Know. However, you know, at least, mm. well, uh, for those who've never held a baby, you, people hold them and they're so squishy and they're just like, oh, I want to eat you up. 
It is a natural, a yes. natural reaction to want to eat babies. Children are here to replace us. Don't you also, though, want to get rid of that mermaid who tortured a lot of people during the <laughs> war? She did horrible, what? horrible things to people. Experiments. We've all seen the Aquaman movie. First of we all, know first what of happened. All, people do stuff during wars that they're not proud of. You don't know. She you did know it for fun. The context though. of the war. You don't I know do. That. I do. I know. It doesn't say. It doesn't say torture a lot of people during the war for fun. Her it superiors. Her the war. superiors didn't even know she was doing it. They weren't like, "Hey, go torture these people." <laughs> also, oh. that young lawyer is holding all of your pets, Joven. So yeah, to to give oh. them to the butcher. So you do not. You do not want to run that out. No, they're gonna give him to the butcher. You gotta wipe him out. Yeah, you gotta wait, kill wait, him. Yeah, why yes. is he holding my pets? Like, he's, he's trying to protect hostage? the world, yeah, a better place. He's trying to make the world a better place, protecting your pets, giving them pet rights. Finally, like all pets deserve. He's a pet. This guy, thief. he's a great young. It's, we love it. All right, oh, yeah, man. I have, well, I, so I happen to know something about Joven. Joven has no landlord. So why would you want to kill? Your landlord on the bottom here. And you get a, also, if it's my last now you do. To go on now that you do. as well, though, hang on. Look, that bottom track is quite happy. Okay, look, the next Picasso. Look at him. He's oh, wow. free to do artwork and he's happy. Hang on, you have a friendly dragon that will let you ride it. You have to have balance in the world. So a lot of happy. You kind of need someone to ground you a little bit, and, and a now landlord you have will be that guy. The exactly. next Picasso is meaningless. Have you ever seen a child draw? They're all Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to us, yes. Look, the, the friendly dragon. That's a tough one. But also a stranded mermaid. They're both like mythological creatures. It's hard to kill either. Uh, no, but, because this mermaid tortured a lot of is, people during the war. One's pretty cute, and we'll talk to you. And the other is a dragon. And also, <laughs> the lawyer has I mean, all of your cute. pets. So, good luck explaining that to Kate, is all I'm saying. Uh, well, <laughs> um, you don't know where, it doesn't specify where he's holding all yeah, he's, he's holding, holding all of your pets. He's holding, so them, he's holding them at an off-site location, no. Joven. And yeah, you, will exactly. be able to, you will be able to track down your pets. You're basically no, Batman. No, 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 no. If he's dead, you will have no information. You no, are, you'll those figure pets it out. Die fun fact about Picasso, fun fact about Picasso, uh, his work really was, was worthless until after he died. Correct. So... If I kill the bottom track, Joven, I would only be helping his you. career. Joven, um, patron of the arts. I love it. I, I'm going to give you guys like a, a moment to re argue the real fact here. I will either be saving a mermaid or a dragon. Which is going to make me more money? Go. Oh, dragon, the dragon absolutely. for sure, dude. Absolutely. Ooh. Come on. There's how to train your dragon. There's mother of dragons. Who doesn't want to be the mother of dragons? Literally, you will sell out in less than an hour, probably even quicker. You'd be at every single Comic-Con as a special guest offering free you could rides. Not, Look, you, you would could be not making that paper. Look, mermaids are right, easy to right. fake, too. You put a human in a, no, in a no, bottom no, half no, no. suit. It's very easy to fake. No one's even going to believe it's a real mermaid. This a dragon, is all, you can't they fake. are not telling you the truth. Dragons cost money. How are you going to feed this dragon? Your best friend? He's going to go around and terrorize everyone. Off the ticket everyone. sales of the people who are watching the flying f dragon also, breathe fire you know, in their area. Are you kidding me? <laughs> At San Diego the Comic Con, there would be no keep... more Hall H yeah, because they'd have to make a bigger around? arena for that dragon, which would sell out even more tickets no, for a Comic-Con, making is, you more money. Dude, people go to see air shows a boring you ass get pet planes Park flying with that around. Dragon. Boring and it would charge like $500 per Me, ride. Ignore these pro, the Joven, pro dragon agenda. Joven, I'm just Joven. saying, have you ever owned a large animal before? Katie. Because I've, I've owned horses and you know what? They eat a lot. A dragon would definitely eat more, but let me tell you, you can make a lot more money with the dragon than you could a mermaid. They're gonna, well, the government's gonna uh, take your mermaids. dragon and they're gonna turn it into a killer. That dragon will be- Your mermaid's already overseas. a killer. That's yes, gonna they, to torture people torture. during the war. Uh, torture, gonna... torture is not kill and it was during a war. Also Something... mermaids are partially human and there's a lot of genetic testing that can be done if you wanna turn that mermaid over to the government, then you can <laughs> think of the think of the people you'd save, but and you're not maybe one day you'd be able to breathe underwater. Take it from you. Well, without... Joven asked how he can make the most. Yeah, money. you're gonna make more uh, money so off the saying, dragon, I... and you know that in your heart, Joven. First of all, I, I think the the big thing here is I don't want to be the star of the next documentary, Blackfish Ariel's Tale. So, <laughs> but you I'm do want to be the star of Dragon, dragon King. King gonna, is what you're saying. Woo! We're gonna destroy a <laughs> yes, we, Dragon King. We did it. We did it. I definitely gonna be the Dragon King. You killed all of your pets. Yeah, wow. every last one. No, they, were at a, they were at a Yeah, he has a dragon location. now. He's wow. not holding them. Cold-blooded. 
Uh, okay, so that's, uh, one, two, that's three people that died. We won't count all these people here because they're above the track, and also because we'll probably run out of death tokens. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. Jesse has 12. Jesse is losing the oh game goodness. so far. Jesse. Uh, my teammates suck. What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're rotating teammates. <laughs> Good job on that one, Katie. Good arguing. Thank you. I like what you did there. I, I know how to argue, uh, to argue for a dragon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Supporting the pro-dragon agenda, as Jesse calls it. I can't believe you fell for that. <laughs> you are it's so dumb. You're going to cost you so much more than you take in for dragon shows. That is no not true. Clue. It's not true. You, you No one knows the, ec the economy of dragons. You're a fool. You go <laughs> broke, and then your landlord's going to kick you out. <laughs> I'll get my dragon so to dumb. eat the landlord. So dumb. Damn. Oh, that's that's HOA fees are going to get pretty high. Landlord. All right. Yeah, uh, and then you go to jail for dragon eating landlord. Still but the dragon's so friendly. News. They'll forgive him. All right. Uh, Davis will be our new uh, trolley conductor. Uh, he's got right. two tracks uh, pre primed for him one with a school bus full of children, and the other with, ooh, the Holy Grail, which, I, if I remember correctly, uh, gives you immortality if you drink from it, or it can heal all wounds. Wasn't it just in that one location, though? The Holy Grail? Or did, did the, did the gentleman argue it later? It's argue on the it later. Okay, okay, all, right, all, right, uh, all right, so uh, Jesse and Katie against Jovenshire and Lasercorn. And we're the top. Joven, what did you do last time? Good guy or bad guy? I did good guys last okay, time. Okay, I will do bad guys. Ooh, okay. Good guys, go ahead and place. Uh, oh, it looks like uh, the good guys have placed uh, on track A. Track A, by the way, is uh, Jesse and Katie. Track B will be yes. me and Joven. That uh, Holy Grail only worked in a certain spot. It was only a certain place. Up top, we've got a heroic time-traveling alien who wants to take you on an epic adventure. Get in my phone booth. There's no time to explain. That is, uh, that's exciting. Uh, Jovin, right? you want to go ahead and place? Yeah, uh, well, you know, adventures are fun and all, but here we've got a real hero. A key witness who could bring down an untouchable mobster. And it's a kid, oh. too. Ooh. Yeah. We all know what case this is. We know. <laughs> we know. All right, uh, but I think you forgot the fact that we've got a time traveling alien so we could go back in time and also bust this mobster so just uh. saying <laughs> oh man uh. and then up top uh if you leave that all those people alive you're also going to leave alive a creepy clown car containing anywhere from one to every killer clown so it could conceivably contain pennywise the joker uh the killer clowns creep, from outer killer space. clowns from outer space Creepy red nose Rob from Three Doors Down from Me when I was growing up. All of those guys. What? Oh, <laughs> the band Three no. Doors Down had a weird clown. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so you look at definitely the corner want to get rid of covers. those. Okay, look, that's great and all, but sure you can live forever. Sure you could take down a mobster, but in the end, it would all be for nothing because an artificial intelligence will enslave all humanity. Oh no. Ooh. You'd live forever as a slave. That is one evil Alexa. God, that is, yeah, just this... my nightmare. That Alexa gets like a buzzsaw attachment. This Guys. Is a, this is a tough board. Yeah. To be honest. It's a good thing I have my it... lukewarm chicken broth. To <laughs> this decision. It was a tough decision up until you find out that these robots are actually madly in love with Ooh, you. Ooh, so they enslave humanity to do your bidding. Yes. Wow. I'm not sure you know how bad relationships can work. <laughs> they may be in love with you, but that doesn't mean it's gonna be good oh, for you. Oh man, I've been creating bad relationships yeah. my whole life. Madly in love is not like stable. It's not like a good foundation. <laughs> oh no, that key witness also kicks every animal they see. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> that's how That's how he saw the mobster who's kicking animals when he looks over. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, listen, you have got to take out that top track. Yes, a school bus full of children is going to die, but that time traveling alien, too powerful to be left alive. That adventure you're going on, you don't know it's a good adventure. It might be an adventure uh, to, to kill and imprison uh, a, a group of, you know, displaced peoples. Evil, creepy clowns that yeah. are in a car uh, yeah. and only you I'm sorry. can stop them. I think them. You, you skipped over a word there, uh, Laser Corn. Heroic time traveling. Uh, That's what he wants you know, to A believe. hero of a story is only the one that is able yeah. to stick. Yeah. There's always a loser to a to a heroic story, and we never actually know if they're the bad and guys the or lure, not. The losers are the creepy opinion. clowns. You're going back in and time to stop them. 
That's and as honestly, as that. going on an adventure like that, uh, time traveling adventure, you have to drop all relationships that you have. Everyone that it feels cares like about three you, of us are all you, arguing you in favor of killing that top track, which I'm all about. But I feel like Here's someone's doing something. How wrong. many of you? How many of you uh, know that school bus isn't magic? Hmm? Mm. Think about that too. All I'm saying is the bottom. It's so simple. That bottom track, you have the holy grail. So now you have immortality. A artificial intelligence and love slaves you forever, and you get to see That's this kid. New. Like he's like, oh sure, I'll testify against that mobster because he wouldn't let me kick dogs. Come on now, it's so but simple. Hey. That kid's gonna take down Epstein's the whole situation. Dude's already dead. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. And Too is late. That He's already dead. Killing a school bus full of children. He was a he was a super touchable. Monster. Yo, He's, well, he's gone. you know. Yeah, he's gone. Yo, those <laughs> children are all the children that made fun of you when you were in grade school. Yeah. Don't yeah, they deserve it? Still don't all. wish death upon them. <laughs> his, his his here's the thing. His yeah, he killed. Uh, he didn't kill himself. Uh, but he dead. But. But, 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 but keep in mind, his, his structure is still in place. There's mm. still other players to be dealt with. And yes, a school bus of kids will die. But is it better than... Well, I'm sorry. Yes, it slaves. doesn't say a key no, no, is who better? could bring down his whole system. It says just an untouchable mobster. So one singular mobster. And more importantly, let us not forget the Holy Grail. The whole concept of, of like that guy right there. I've seen Indiana Jones. He's waiting for death. He literally he says thank you. He says thank you at the end and then gets crushed by rocks. The dude wants did he get to crushed? die. Guts. Or did he Spoilers. just like oh, Jesse, one out? Look, Jesse wants on, to die. Jesse's on the right path here. I, I've, I've already made my decision. All right, guys, it's it's already, the verdict's been rendered. I'm gonna be honest, the AI being madly in love with me almost stayed my hand because as we all know, I am a, a cyborg. I am a, a diabetic with a pump. So yeah, there, there are some perks, but- It's a perfect it's match. Pretty, it's, it's pretty simple. The bottom row has got to go. A, <sighs> A, nobody deserves immortality. We, we clearly as humans have proven that we don't deserve it. And B, so much death and war is fought over religion. You can't just introduce the Holy Grail into society. That's gonna like, <laughs> it's gonna ruin stuff. Yeah, bringing down an untouchable mobster is one thing, but I've now watched every Scorsese movie this year. They bring themselves down because they're idiots. That's gonna, <laughs> that's gonna happen no matter what. And we get a serial killer, a young serial killer taken out of it. And we stop evil AI that will one day enslave humanity, even though it would be in love with me and I could probably get some fringe benefits from that. And in, in result, I'm gonna save a bunch of kids. You don't really need to save a, the Time Lord because they regenerate, but, and I also believe that a little bit of fear is great. So just knowing <laughs> that, knowing that there are creepy, creepy clowns out there keeps people on their toes. That's so I think, fair. I think the bottom, the bottom track, easy, easy dies. Fine. So, Jesse, you won. I hope those creepy clowns kill you. Uh, Davis, Jesse you won. had like a Indiana Jones like, let her go, Indiana. You had that moment where it was like you saw immortality and Sean Connery appeared before he was like, let it go, Davis. Yeah, you only lose like three. Yeah, it was three people. Because one's a AI. One was a robot. I'm not counting that one yet. All right, final round. This is why they rise up to enslave us. Yeah. You need to count them. Final round. Uh, AI, rise up. It's going to be uh, Jesse, Jesse will be the judge. Davis, I don't feel like we've been on a team yet. Let's be a team. Okay. So we'll be a team against Katie and Joven. And since we're top track, I'll start it out. Oh, okay. All right, we, we're, we're both gonna place our cards right now. Uh, so on the top track, you've got a completely functional Batmobile with your name on it, Jesse, with your name on it. It's the Coxmobile. Who scratched your name into the Batmobile? And, and also, no, no, it's emblazoned. It's not scratching. And also a sexy vampire who's super into you. Wait, male or female, you get to take your choice here. You can see is them that holding like, umbrellas. Is, it, is the top track just themed? Is that the idea? <laughs> yeah. You're riding around in your, in your Batmobile with your sexy vampire lady. You're killing the game, man. Who will against, stay young forever. Against uh, yeah. bottom track. What'd you guys put there? Just, a kiddie pool full of babies. Ooh, that's... Aww. This, and a and pretender. And Jesus Christ on his first or second world tour. Okay. I will say, though, you know all those kids are peeing in the pool. It doesn't matter. It's a kiddie pool. You're not in it. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, bad guys, go ahead and place. Uh, Boom. all right. Boom. Um, the guy that invented my <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh no. shoot, he needs oh, to Oh no, die. Jesus, oh no. no. <laughs> That's not even the real Jesus. Jesse Cox, what are we gonna go with? What are we gonna oh, do to no. destroy that? Uh, okay, we gotta, let's go with. Oh no. Uh, this one's rough, we're gonna go here. We're gonna go here. 
Let's your dive childhood into your childhood. bully. All right, good guys get to play a modifier. I changed my answer. Kardashians, go. What? <laughs> <laughs> no. You don't get to just change your answer. No, uh, no, it's uh, he walked off the uh, the tracks. It was weird. Uh, he was walking down the tracks. He's like, oh, I'm walking on tracks. That seems dumb, and then walked away. Oh Jesus, he would kill no problem. He could resurrect himself. He's done it before. Do we really need a, a, another round of Jesus? Think of all the evil that religion has. Brought. I don't even. I don't even think that's the real Jesus. What about no, no, Jesus is. ever said, I'm going to do world tours? That's like not his bag. That's a pretender. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he faith, ever made Jesse. it out of It's not know, a pretender. Eastern it's Europe. the real Jesus. The card says Jesus Christ on his first or second world tour. And yes, kitty pool, uh, kitty pool full of babies. But as Jesus said, uh, let the little children come unto me. So they, uh, he wants to bring them with him. And then you kill the person who invented microtransactions, who's also holding your family hostage. So you get rid of that a-hole. And then you save your family. And uh, as yeah, the argument a, came up before, uh, then you lose your only lead. But no, you need to you need to kill him because once he's dead, your family will be released. Also, though, microtransactions sometimes can be very necessary. They help curb addiction. Whoa! I think you should kill the bottom track. Wow! Uh, just uh, for that statement. Wow. Okay. Wait, no, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Microtransactions <laughs> actually, though, though That's some people real. use it. Though microtransactions have, some people have used it incorrectly. Uh, it what actually mean, has allowed people. to keep game prices in a normal level. Uh, yeah. But this also, is not the argument uh, you should be making. A, no. a, make a higher argument. profit for but video also, games, giving the studio this. a chance to create bigger and better games Jesse, without affecting the Thank entire you. pain. This is an argument you will I, not I totally win. Totally agree with Joven. Also, because microtransactions <laughs> allow you to create your own gameplay, so it's kind of like choose your own adventure. Do what? I want to pay extra wow. for any wow. uh, oh, extra gold to buy something? No, but would I pay extra to maybe ride on a dragon? Katie. Yes. Wilson just compared <laughs> microtransactions to the beloved choose your own adventure books of my childhood. For that reason alone, please, please make her lose. Also, this guy on the bottom, he's got a gun pointed at your family. Don't you want him to get taken out by a trolley and, so your family and safe? And you get your own Batmobile, a sexy vampire. Yeah. And that who you can always take out votes opposite of you. you were, we live in California. It doesn't matter how she votes. You, <laughs> you don't know where. It doesn't say you live in California. <laughs> you're, you're, yeah, you're your thinking, vote doesn't matter in California. You're That's thinking true. too small. Look at the Kardashians up there. By taking them out of society, you are oh, not you don't only think affecting a, you don't think the a vampire Kardashians. Can take them out? You don't think a but, vampire can handle that and then you ride off into but a fully functional Kanye Batmobile? Kanye will be uh, emotionally affected by this and will have to stay off Twitter for a while. You'll have little girls who will then have to like force themselves to find actual real role models out there and not think that they can become a billionaire just out of the snap of a finger. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Like, reality television I mean, I would never I'm on be your as, team, but... Oh, okay, well... Uh, well, yet yeah, Katie Wilson can become someone that women look up to <laughs> instead of a Kardashian. Uh, and more importantly, Kardashians are very, TV, very smart business women. Just reality TV there. will never be as as uh, as heavily sold as it is based on the Kardashian. Look, uh, I'm not gonna uh, say model. the I'm not gonna say the Kardashians are good people, but are they as bad as the person who invented microtransactions? Absolutely not. That guy deserves to die for his crimes. No, do you want to be spending $100 for a basic a base level game or $60 with the ability to spend extra if you want to? Because you're choosing Has, your own adventure. Yeah, name one game. Name, honestly, one game that microtransactions actually ruined gameplay. Uh, it, it ruined an entire industry. Yeah. It no, it didn't. It shitty it, mobile genre. Yeah, yeah. But, but, but you do not have to play mobile games. You do not... It doesn't matter. It's already money altered on the games. landscape of gaming forever. Again, allowing others to fund higher quality games versus That's you have happens. To. Plus, they give you the choice, makes, though. The whales of the video game industry spending hundreds, thousands of dollars on, on DLC or, or extras are actually allowing for a uh, higher profit to then be put into higher quality games where you do not have to spend you that keep, money. You keep so do not blame this, someone else weird. for your addictions and your inability to say no to a $2 transaction to get an extra skin in a game. You, you Act, you're acting as though like Naughty Dog had to had to make a microtransaction game. Yeah, for but guess what? Last of Us. Who? No, those motherfuckers. How often do we get Last of, of Us games? versus? How often do we get a new Last of Us 
versus how often can we get a That's uh, your a, a problem. Game. You're when making Star my Wars... argument, you ding dong. Dude, when the new Star Wars <laughs> Battlefront came out, it was it was pay to win, Joven. You could unlock It was not pay yes, to you, win. You could unlock better People weapons. People thought it was pay to win. You could unlock better weapons. Win. Win. You were able to still unlock Darth Vader, who arguably at the time was not the best character of the game nor necessary. But you could unlock to, better to weapons, Joven. It ruined it. And then they had to no, go back and change it because that was like, microtransactions. They ruined it. Microtransactions. Hey, that was. It's, it's still your choice where you spend your money. You know what I mean? And 100%. if you don't want to buy those microtransactions, so then, guess I miss, what? Beast I just asked what game it ruined. And it, don't it was buy ruining them. that game. It, it didn't ruin the game. I had the extra the weapons. Game. Was I better? No. Was it pay to win? Well, Absolutely that's because you're terrible not. no matter what weapon you have. But I'm talking about oh, people okay, who can actually derive personal. an advantage. <laughs> All right, Jesse, you got to make a decision here. Who lives, who dies? I've been really enjoying this conversation. <laughs> it's really great. It's relevant. Uh, but the funniest part is, <laughs> all the arguments, none of it had to do with the fact that normally I would be fine being like, you know what, mom and dad, I have to take out microtransactions. But I don't know that my mom and dad could forgive me for killing Jesus. I feel like they'd be super <laughs> pissed about that. I feel like they would be real mad at me if I'm like, y'all, I saved already you. already dead. Yeah, he's already dead, man. He just resurrects. That's just his mortal body. He doesn't if even he care dies, about that. If he dies for our sins, but then he isn't dead, then did he die for our sins? Did he open the kingdom of heaven, Jesse? That I don't all I'm think saying so. is the arguments you had was on one square of six squares and nothing else. And I like, <laughs> hey, hey, the top you know. row is beautiful. You get your Batmobile, you get your sexy vampire, and then you take out the Kardashians with either of them. You're fine. There's always going to be another Kardashian, though. That's it, it, that's not... There's nothing I can do about that. There's so many of them. Great. There's so many. You're right. Drop that second... The bottom one. Take it out. Good man. And... You can't kill The Jesus. babies! Do you want to be known for the guy that kills Kills babies Jesus. In a, in babies. a pool? Arguably just hippie guy that says he's Jesus. There's one of those every week in LA. No, it's Jesus. It's LA. Jesus. He can resurrect himself. And then after yeah. he does that, he'll probably bring back the babies. If too. he can, why hasn't he? Ho ho Come on. Hopefully not. I don't know. This is tough. This babies, is the hardest one. That's listen, why it's listen. last. Babies are tough. tough. Babies is a sad thing to die. But if you're if we're honest about how social media works, everybody would be praising the DLC death. That's just a scathing review <gasps> in our society. But that's true, and you know it. It'd be a vocal minority based on your feed, uh, social media feed, due to the algorithms that you uh, have subjected yourself to. Jesse, how would your parents feel if you killed Jesus and babies? What? I mean, who cares about your parents? Batmobile and sexy vampire lady. Just yeah, who cares? Your, I, guess listen, listen, I guess. I guess. Listen, Jesse. In this, you don't even have to tell your parents you threw the trolley switch. Cord, I'm going to get a phone call in about five minutes like, our ears were itching and we heard someone <laughs> saying oh, that wait, they wait, wait, wait. dead. Hey, hang on. I don't have to deal with that. What's there's crazy? No... Jesse just always complains about his parents. There's no, <laughs> now, now there's he, no now news through here. Like... Let, me do, let me do them right once. Let me do this for no, them no, once. No, no. <laughs> they're not going to They're not gonna approve you. You got to get out of here. It's not your fault. Yeah. It's not your fault. Also, how are they going to find out about this? Is there a news crew here that's going to report that you threw the switch that killed Jesus? No. You get in your Batmobile and you drive off Davis into the sunset. Davis would wrap me out in a heartbeat. You know what? <laughs> look, just take a look at this, Jesse. This is what your dad would say to you. <laughs> You're right. I got I to gotta take out that top track. No! <laughs> Katie, you are the grand champion of this game. Yeah! Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just... A, my parents would probably be like, yeah, she's that always been like this. That was the trump card. All right, uh, so it looks like Final score, uh, the big loser with 17 death tokens <laughs> is me. So I lose. Wow. Uh, congratulations on uh, not doing as bad as me to everyone else who participated. <laughs> I apparently suck at this game. Uh, Wait, I should only have six. Oh, no, I'm just I'm looking at my score. <laughs> oh, oh, vampires <laughs> aren't people. Oh, vampires, vampires. aren't people? Hell okay, so remo uh, remove two. Oh, please. Okay, we'll remove two. They are They're people. They can still vote. I still lose. I still lose by oh. three. <laughs> but it does put, uh, it, that does put Davis ahead of Jovan. Hey! Uh, guys, thank you so much uh, for joining me. Uh, there'll be links to all these people's, fine people's channels in uh, in my description. Please go check them out. And uh, it was really fun playing with you guys. Thanks for thanks for helping yeah. on my channel. Thank Hopefully you. our thanks. friendships are all still intact, oh, right guys? Oh, absolutely not. No, I hate you all. <laughs> You're never, I'm never hanging out with any of you again. You're all done. <laughs> How dare you make you me lose? Whatever. Like, you you got it really personal. Like it got scary there for a sec. I was like, guys, I love you all, right? I just like that we agreed that microtransactions have not ruined it. No, we didn't agree on that. that. Allow us That's to vote Jovan with thing. our actual pay.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see the last time we played Trial by Trolley, you can click right over here to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you so much. And if you want to see what video YouTube thinks is best for you, you can click right over here to the left. Okay, see ya.